over 200,000 Twitter followers, Gurdeep Pander usually films outside his Yukon cabin, Bhangra dancing. Many of his followers have written him letters thanking him for spreading joy. And that's how the idea of a Cross Canada tour started. Mind you, this is a tour that doesn't cost money or make money. This is about making you smile. Joy, hope, and positive to tour. He's already danced at Inverness Beach. Folks in Mabu taught him to square dance. And with bagpipes in tow, he bangra danced on the rocks at Peggy's Cove. I'm here in Nova Scotia on my across country tour with the message of joy, hope, and positivity. I find that these messages are very important when there's a lot of sorrows, a lot of suffering, and a lot of uh, sadness in the world. And goodness knows there's a lot in that in the world right now. So enter this small cargo van. I'm happy that I found room, uh, a corner for every single thing, like for my place, uh, place to make food. It's a little more rustic than the hashtag van life trend, but he's going coast to coast in this. For, as a, for laptop. With solar lights on top, a battery to store some power so he can charge his laptop and camera. And on location, like here at Point Pleasant Park, he can film a new dance. Bree Skinner's visiting from British Columbia. She instantly recognized Gurdeep. You are an inspiration. <laughs> oh, um, thank you. So I decided to go to different communities across the country so that the connection which I built through social media it can uh, be taken to a new level. You're right. Put up. Don't forget to smile. Okay. <laughs> now I can't let the Bhangra dance star leave Halifax without a little lesson. <laughs> Two, three. He's right. I do feel happier. Happy, happy, happy. Colleen Jones, CBC News, Halifax.